I used to room with a fellow called Martin Gable. I'd like to introduce his current roommate, Miss Arlene Francis. <laughs> <laughs> you trained him very well, Jim. Thank you, you bet. <laughs> Is there any product involved with this? Yes. Uh, is it a useful product? Under our terms of reference, we couldn't describe it as useful. That's one down and nine to go. Is it liquid rather than solid? Yes. Does it come in bottles? Yes. Does it contain alcohol? Yes, yes. Who said this wasn't useful? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Serrata, but you did give away the fact that you must have something to do with the animal kingdom, did you not? Uh, I'm afraid I did. Um, is it an animal who's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who spits? <laughs> I mean, is it a llama or a camel? No, it's not. <laughs> Uh, Mr. French, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes, I do. You do? Uh, is there any product involved with what you do? Yes. Does it, is it consumed? Does it use itself up so that sometime you have to buy a new one? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is it, uh, does it ever come in contact with a body? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Because this is, covers a very broad area. Well, I have a very broad body. <laughs> uh, <laughs> would, would one ever put it in one's mouth? Yes. Mm -hmm. If you eat it, do you swallow it? I hope so. <laughs> is it um, animal rather than vegetable? Yes. It's animal. Is it, uh... <laughs> Hello, <Bennett. laughs> uh, Is there some particular part of the animal that is more interesting to you than other parts of the animal? Yeah. <laughs> yes? <laughs> is that part... <laughs> I was going to say from the waist up, but it sounds so funny. <laughs> the funny thing, I was scared to death. That's what you were going to say. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I quit. I don't know where a cow's waist is. <laughs> wouldn't interest anybody but a bull. Is it part of the... uh, 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 Do you have some contact with the head of the animal? No. No. That's five down and oh, five to go, Mr. That's Gable. interesting. <laughs> My wife has so overwhelmed me. <laughs> The story of our life. <laughs> I admit it. Uh... <laughs> you figure out what's between the head and the waist. <laughs> Is there something in your job that has to do with a specific part of the horse's anatomy. Yeah. Hey, take it easy, Arlene. I'm next. It <laughs> <laughs> would affect a definite part of the anatomy. Yes. Right. Well, let's stay with the front part. Do you have anything to... <laughs> to do with a horse... <laughs> uh, 
I just hope you get a yes, no matter what. The horse's head. No. Six down and four to no. go. <laughs> Did we say that uh, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, that she was salaried? Uh, we did, yes. We did say that. Did we say that she does work for a profit-making organization? Uh, no, we didn't say that yet. That's six down, four to go. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, Arlene. Good night. Good night, dear Benner. I want you to know that Marty Gable gave her a baby grand for her birthday. My oh. birthday is Piano, what he means. A piano. <laughs> <laughs> this is John Daly saying good night, Arlene Francis. Good night. I just feel so underprivileged. I have no fire hydrant on my plate. <laughs> good night, Ernie. Doesn't everybody? Good night. Good night, Arlene. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Finn. They're putting in a whole crop of fire hydrants. Good night, Al. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us on What's My Line. <laughs>